Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. We can expect much more of the same in the near future as we prepare for the next Bitcoin halving, which will cause several cryptocurrency prices to skyrocket. I'm quite excited. To that end, let's take a look at some fundamentals, such as the ability to zoom out. It's helpful to have some distance and perspective every once in a while. XRP 2017 is a recurrence of 2023 possible? Or are we going to talk about Gary Gensler in a way that has never been done before? The SEC's appeal to Bitcoin whales, who are currently in the accumulation phase, and what they are doing first, Robin Hood, then, bricks now that we've covered a lot of ground in this video, let's go headfirst into a Bitcoin investment. $26,073 it has gained 4% so far today. Ethereum has gained $8.15, or 8.15%, in value during the past day, reaching $1,644. T and USDC both arriving at their dollar pegs, while XRP, er, I mean, still holding at 50 cents, up 1%. They don't anticipate much of a movement in the total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies over the weekend. 1 trillion 53 billion, where do we go from here? According to Mando, all you have to do is look out six months to the Bitcoin having. You may think I'm crazy for saying this, but I'm convinced that this month will be magical for all coins and that you'll regret not taking full advantage of the sell prices if the bull run ever begins. People, if you zoom out a bit, the results are plain to see. It's possible that we'll see a bit more of a correction to the downside, and that if we do, we might be able to fill the CME gap which I think is right around that $20,000 mark, we'll talk about that in a minute. After that, large mountain peaks and sections of roadways will suddenly launch into the air. This is the future. For those of you who have not been following the history of Bitcoin, you should know that there has never been a time when a Bitcoin event did not affect the price of Bitcoin. And I've been here since 2017 for the halving of crypto prices. Several of these were my experience. Every time we get halfway through a year, the same story is told about how Bitcoin is dead. Declarations are made regarding cryptocurrencies, advertising, and the impending arrival of legislation. All, meanwhile, what's happening is that the large institutions and banks are trying to shake your weekend out of you from behind. That was in 2017, and I'm still here. Already, I've seen it twice. There has been no progress. It will be another six months until the price is cut in half. Have no fear. There is absolutely no need for alarm. Disengage, take it easy. Your financial future will be secure if you put your money into a cryptocurrency that is truly fixing a problem in the real world rather than merely a problem for people to get together and talk about. You could lose money on an investment in a mean coin, as we have seen with Dogecoin and the Yen Moss Pump, sad story meme coin is that you should have sought out this information independently every day you should have been using the adcom funds to research utilities partnerships banks and the incoming money to the space i discuss recent events and innovations in the crypto space our conversations create a rippling effect since only one cryptocurrency can be the best we discuss all of them, from XRP and Bitcoin to Ethereal and Stellar HBAR. While cryptocurrencies as a whole are on the rise, individual cryptos may or may not have the same success, and your investment success or failure ultimately depends on how thoroughly you investigate using the unlimited resources I provide. We Delving deep, taking a good hard look at things, and taking a stand for what you believe in. You must therefore act. It's elementary, we discussed XRP's trajectory from 2017 to 2023. Clairvoyant IGAD stated, could 2017 be the club's breakthrough year? Skeptics are bound to find fault, but I'd rather put my energy into finding interesting things to say. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some fascinating information to reveal, and it's all based on research conducted in just three months. Ignoring the wicks and using the same logic to the present cycle suggests a possible measured move of about 2,000%. This is in contrast to the last cycle, 
where we saw a faultless breakout following the measured move of a semantic triangle, boosting a phenomenal 900% rise. Possibly causing XRP to break the $15 barrier. XRP can theoretically cycle at least 100% of the way to $15. But don't rush to sell all your possessions just yet. Early in the first cycle, we were amazed to see a rise of 770%. If we take a similar tack, we may be able to see XRP rise to a value of $150 or more. Remember that. Since longer timeframes often produce more reliable signals, analysts who are predicting significantly lower outcomes may want to rethink their projections, as this cycle has the ability to outperform expectations, remain stable, and be planted firmly in the ground. 1% you've got to give a talk about weaving conviction, and only a select handful can build the world we all dream about. Now you can see what he means. The first full cycle ended in 2014. Increase of 770% 2017-2018 when we look at the past two cycles and subtract the current cycle, which we are confident is on the horizon, we see a gain of 770%, for XRP, this translates to a hypothetical blow-off peak ranging from $15 to $150. Here, have some TA charts, folks. As the charts unfold, the question becomes, when will we see $150 XRP? My price goals for this XRP cycle have not changed. How about the age range of 4 to 7? Raise your prices to at least $6 or $7. The price of a possible balloon top ranges from $14 to $24. It's all set for me I know you are too, Zach, but if you don't believe me yet, read on, Gary Gensler, the head of the SEC, is actually a Bitcoin maximalist in his private life. Gensler was, surprisingly to some, captivated with Bitcoin during his tenure at MIT. There was a class he led on the subject of cryptocurrency and the blockchain. He had no idea that he was about to go on a venture straight into Bitcoin's inner sanctum. He studied Bitcoin extensively after realizing the currency's potential to upend the financial system and give people more control over their own lives. Gensler was put in a difficult position as he progressed through the ranks to become SEC chairman, he could not publicly advocate for Bitcoin maximalism in light of his regulatory responsibilities, but he also could not just renounce his convictions. His hidden objective to further Bitcoin's causes included actions like labeling altcoins as unregistered securities and stating that Bitcoin is the lone commodity among cryptos. Exactly that is happening at the same moment. Bitcoin is the only currency available. He made an effort to eliminate any potential competition to Bitcoin, but particularly XRP. The SEC, however, was thoroughly defeated in court. In addition, the court determined that XRP traded in order books on secondary markets is not a security. So there goes his carefully laid plans, but we've seen them go at it before. I estimate there to be around 63 in total. He claims that other cryptocurrencies in circulation today are unregistered securities, and that someone would have to advocate on behalf of these tokens in order to get them classified as something other than securities. Companies expanding into new crypto markets never step up to bat, instead, they all seem to be on the run. Charles Hoskins coding charge has not resulted in a bat. There is no evidence that he has done so publicly filed a lawsuit and I'd say we're going to take it to court. To pursue ADA certification. It will be interesting to observe how the SEC's decision to classify cryptocurrencies as securities affects their futures and how they proceed, since the only way they can receive clarification is if a judge rules in their favor. Ripple has gone to bat for XRP and is demanding what Jensen's refusal to authorize a Bitcoin spot ETF is an odd action on his side. But when you put it all together, everything makes sense. He is not blocking development, rather, he is protecting the right of ordinary people to amass Bitcoin before large financial organizations take over the market. If a Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF is approved sometime in the next year, or even later this year, institutional investors will flock to Bitcoin, and a bull market for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will ensue. 
He also recognizes the value of self-custody in Bitcoin, preferring it to paper Bitcoin since if an ETF were permitted, institutions would flood the market, driving up the price of Bitcoin. He is protecting the democratic and decentralized nature of Bitcoin by postponing the ETF approval, allowing individual investors more time to stock up at lower prices. In conclusion, Gary Gensler's covered convert journey from MIT professor to SEC champion was driven by a hidden passion for Bitcoin maximalism, and his actions as a regulator, while nagging, are guided by a desire to protect the interests of everyday Bitcoin's individuals and allow them to participate in the Bitcoin revolution. But 14 organizations don't, so I guess we can call him that much of a villain already, right? Large Bitcoin investors are collecting $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin while the price fluctuates, and this is all down to the fact that he is allowing average people to continue buying while prices are low. If the big fish are buying up so much Bitcoin, why do you believe that is? Maybe they'd see we're near the bottom of the barrel if they saw this chart I got from Keith. And if there is yet another drop, we might potentially reach the low 20s. In light of this, reducing your annual salary by $5,000 is not a major sacrifice. Suppose you invested $20,000 or $25,000 in Bitcoin. It's the equivalent of paying 40 to 50 cents each XRP. They are aware of the bigger picture and final result, and they are expecting a 456-fold return on their initial investment of $1.5 billion, based on my rough calculations. We could make $6 billion by trading these whales for thinking fours, which would cost $1.5 billion. At that point, I can't imagine anyone being upset about it. Folks, consider that. The picture of where we are going and where we are heading is crystal clear in your mind. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.